All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do true SQL-like left join in Excel. Now, most of the time when people think about left join, they usually use VLOOKUP function to do this, but it's really not exactly like SQL left join. So let me show you the difference. VLOOKUP, so for example, if we have this customer IDs and this is our customer's table and we want to match our customers first and last names and bring them over here, right? So for that, we can use usually VLOOKUP. We VLOOKUP this ID, comma, we do this table, ID being the first column, we do F4 to lock the table, comma, and then column index would be the first name or last name, so one, two as the second column, and finally, as a type, this would be exact match, which is false or zero. And then we close parentheses, we hit enter, and then we double click to send this down. Let's take a look at this and understand why this is not exactly like SQL left join. The difference between doing this and doing SQL left join is that with VLOOKUP, it will only find the first occurrence. So what I mean by that, if you look at this ID, and this ID, it's the same. Now what's going to happen with VLOOKUP, it's going to look up this ID, find the first occurrence and choose Donna as a result. So we get Donna here, but we're never gonna get Rupert in this results because VLOOKUP just finds the first one. Now SQL left join, when it finds multiple occurrences, what it actually does, it would, illustrate it here it would basically literally return the same row again and then also find this next occurrence and so on so you'll find that there is difference between doing left join and VLOOKUP if you have multiple occurrences of the same matching value so if you're looking for VLOOKUP, I have tons of videos covering VLOOKUP. And if this is sufficient for you, you could just go ahead and use that. And I'm going to put a link to my VLOOKUP video to the top right corner right there. You can watch that. But for now, I'm going to show you how to do a true SQL left join type of operation in Excel. So first of all, I have this file. So in this file, I have transactions in this first tab and here are my customer IDs and then I have customers in this tab and see we have customer IDs here and tons of information about customers, right? If we look at some different matching values, for example, rep IDs, see rep ID 45, if we want to know who that is, we would go to salespeople table and then we have matching reps here in this table and so on. There are a lot of matching values in different tables. So how do we do a SQL like left join? So for this, you will have to use Power Query and Power Query is available as an add-on for Excel 2010 and 2013. Or if you were in Excel, the newer version, 2016 or 2018, then it's included under your data tab. So you don't even have to download anything. It's just built in. So let's see how we're gonna do this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep this file on its own. I'm not even gonna touch it to make my life easy. And I'm gonna just create a brand new file to get my joint table. So I'm gonna press Control N and that's gonna create a new file. Then I'm gonna just put this side by side so we can see what it looks like. So I'll go under View, Arrange All, Vertical, OK. So now these are both files I have. So this is this file called data 2018 one. And this is my blank Excel workbook. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go under this tab power query. Now, again, if you're not in 2010 or 2013 and you're not using the add on, then you're going to go under your data tab to find this. And here I'm going to go under get external data. And what I'm looking for is from file and from Excel. And then simply choose that Excel file from the list. 
the part of which I skipped. Now, in this dialog, we have all the tabs from this other file. And I'm going to do select multiple items. Now, if you just want to use two or three of these tables, then just select those. You could also just get all of them. And that's what I'm going to do. And here I'm going to click edit. It's going to bring me to this window. Now, if you try to do this, you want to make sure that in your tables, all your tables have column names and all those column names are unique. Otherwise, you will probably not have a very good time getting this all together. So just make sure your data is laid out nicely. You have column names and there are no blank column names and no blank columns, no blank rows, and you should be fine. Now here you should see how I have all of these tables from the other file listed on the left. So for right now, I'm going to do close and load and this arrow, and then I'm going to do close and load too. And for now, I'm going to only create connection. So now I have all my connections. I'm going to expand this window. So in here, I'm going to now go to the same tab and I'm going to find merge. Now, if you don't have merge here, then another way to get this done is to simply just right click on the main table you're planning to bring data to, and then you'll see merge. And that's what I'm going to do. Merge. This is going to show up. Now it's going to ask you what's the other table you would like to merge to this. I'm going to click on this and do customers table. Now, after you do this, you will have to select what's the common column between the two. This is like the on statement in your SQL join. So customer ID from this table and customer ID from this table. And then you select the type of join. In this case, we're going to do left outer join to do SQL like left outer join. Now you can, as you can see, do right outer join, full outer join, inner join, basically all SQL types. So I'm going to do left outer join, hit OK. And I'm going to get to the screen. Now on this screen, you want to click on this expand icon. And if you want all, you can just hit OK. It's going to get you all columns. Now, if you just want some columns, you want to make sure you uncheck this and then select columns you need. So I'm going to select gender, city, state. That should do it for me. I'm going to hit OK. Here we go. And I'm going to name this merged query to something else. I'm going to call this one combined. Now, if this is all you wanted to do, you're pretty much ready. Now I'm going to show you also how to join more tables. So if you remember, I had rep ID table and I wanted maybe to get some rep information by the ID matching column. So I can just go on top here and do merge again. And now I have my combine on top, as you can see, and I'm going to select my other table in this case, salespeople, then again, select the column rep ID. Again, I'm going to do left outer join for this as well. I'm going to hit OK. In here, I'm going to click on this expand and choose which columns I want. I'm going to unselect this. I'll select first and last name for the rep, maybe the age. That's fine. I hit OK. And that will get us all of this information, which is first and last name. Now, if you wanted a column that's not just first name and the last name, you wanted one that's combined, you could just select these two columns together. And I did that by pressing the first column label on top, then shift the second column. Now I have both of them selected. And then I can go under transform, which is here on top. And then here you'll see this merge columns. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to say, what do you want as a separator? So I probably want a space between first and last names. So what's the name of this new column? 
I'll call it sales rep name. And here we go. That's our new combined column. So now that I'm happy with my operations, obviously, if you want to merge more tables, you should know what to do at this point, right? Just go under home, merge, merge, and select the next table you'd like to merge. So maybe you want products, some information from there too. So you do products, you choose your column. So in this case, it's going to be the stock number here, stock number here. Hit OK. Click on this. Uncheck this. Select the columns you want. I'm going to select, let's say, brand. Good enough for me. Once you're done with all your join operations, just go to close and load. Close and load. And then it's just going to load all that joined information to your spreadsheet. So there it is. That's all of it with gender, city, state, brand, all of that information from multiple different tabs combined using true SQL like left join. And that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.